So as we saw in previous videos, Tn equals An squared plus Bn plus C is known as the general term or the general rule for quadratic sequences. In the same way, a sequence in the form of Tn equals An cubed plus Bn squared plus Cn plus D is called a cubic sequence. We can identify a sequence as being cubic by checking in the change of the change of the change, i.e. the third difference is constant, like with the cubic function. Tn equals n cubed plus 2n squared plus 3n plus 4. Well, if I was to sub in 1 in place of each of those n's, I'd get 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 4, which would give me 10. If I was to sub in 2, I'd get 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 4, which would give me 26. If I was to sub in 3, I'd get 3 cubed plus 2 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3 plus 4, which would give me 58. If I was to sub in 4, I'd get 112. Term 5, 194. Term 6, 310. Term 7, 466, dot, dot, dot. So here I have a sequence of numbers. I'm going to start off by finding the first difference. So the difference between 10 and 26 is 16. 26 and 58 is 32. 58 and 112 is 54. 112 and 194 is 82. 194 and 310 is 116. 310 and 466 is 156. Clearly the first difference is not the same, so this is not a linear or an arithmetic sequence. Now I'm going to find the second difference. The difference between 16 and 32 is 16. Between 32 and 54 is 22. Between 54 and 82 is 28. Between 82 and 116 is 34. Between 116 and 156 is 40. Clearly the second difference is not the same. So this sequence is not quadratic. Now I'm going to have a look at the third difference. The difference between 16 and 22 is 6, between 22 and 28 is 6, between 28 and 34 is 6, between 34 and 40 is 6. I can see that the third difference is the same. The third difference is the same. The third difference is 6. So the sequence is cubic.